So right now, as you can see, our people are saving the quarry dust and there is a reason for this. Why do we do this? Why do we take all the time? We bought this already, we've paid for it, but we are taking the time to save this again to achieve something. I have no idea what we are trying to achieve, or maybe I do. But I will ask Mr. Derry, this is Mr. Derry, our project manager for advanced construction. Mr. Derry, why do you go through all the time to do this? Why do you spend so much time saving gravel that you have already bought and paid for? Well, thank you very much. Uh, we are saving it because uh, this one is used for macro concrete. A macro concrete is the concrete that we spray on the polystyrene to make it structurally strong. Because of grading is as important as the material itself, we are saving it to know exactly how much fine quarry dust we are putting in, and how much sand we are putting in, and how much chipping, 3A chipping we are putting in. So we are trying to grade it very well because what we bought is not the great one. It mixed with chippings. So you, are, you can see on my right, the chipping is safe. So once you are going to do the macro concrete, then we'll put one part of paradise, which is this one that is safe. And then over there is river sand. You don't use any other sand, ordinary sand for this one because quality is of a paramount. So we use a river sand and we are also saving it because it has some particles of stones just to be sure that our grading is perfect. Our ratio is perfect. If we say one part of sand, it is actually one part of sand. If we say one part of uh, quarry that is actually one part of quarry that. But not 90% uh, of quarry that and 90 percent of uh, chippings. That's wow. why we are trying to save it. I like it. So are you trying to say that this micro concrete is allergic to macro particles? Uh, it's not allergic, but it's just that you need to know what measurement you are taking. And the measurement okay. you are taking, you are sure that you say you want one, it has to be one. Okay. But if you say you want one QB and these small chippings are inside, at the end the quarry dust will be not up to one QB, probably 0.9, okay. and which will affect the strength of the concrete. And after we have added this tray, we add cement, which is 42.5 R. And we add fiber, mineral fiber, which improves on the strength of the concrete. What, what is 42.5 R? 42.5 uh, R is a standard cement that is used for concrete. If okay. you don't know, some of the cement, we have different types for different work. We have 32.5 for plastering and block laying. But because okay. this one is a macro concrete, strength is important because the material itself is going to be structurally strong. And because of the strength of it, you cannot use 32.5 cement. Oh. You have to use 42.5. Wow. And as you can see here, this is the polysarine. It is a, a composite construction which involves Galvanized steel wires connected with a connectors with the polystyrene in the middle. As it stands now, it is structurally strong, but it cannot carry any load. But when you spray the macro concrete on it, then you have improved from the polystyrene will only be a, 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 a inner caco, but the connectors and the wire mesh will tend to be like a cavity wall. So each is acting as a separate, structurally stable wall, which is monolithically carry all load. So this building don't have a concrete uh, column. It doesn't have a concrete column. All the uh, walls here you see is a load bearing wall. Well, tell me about this polystyrene. What uh, influence does it have on comfort? How this I polystyrene heard about good stuff about this. What does it do? Polystyrene is a material that uh, we all know for time in memoria, we use it for if you open your fridge, there's a polystyrene poly element on it. But we have realized that modern day building, operation cost of the building is rather of a higher degree, it's more paramount. So this design has come to solve part of the cost of operation. By using polystyrene and the wire mesh connected with the connectors, it becomes structurally stable, 
and then the polystyrene inside is add at an insulator okay. to insulate the transfer of heat from outside to inside and from inside to outside. What I mean is that if we are in a very hot hamatai, the outside will be very hot. But when you enter, your inside is relatively cool. If you are in a rainy season and the inside, the outside is very cold, you don't need that cold in your room. So your inside will be relatively warm. So you contain what is in your room. The temperature is try, you try to contain the temperature in your room and increase comfortability. This building, if you have this building, you don't even need air conditioning. Like but if part. you want to use an air conditioning, the traditional building, if you have to use two hot power, with this type of building, you just need one hot power. If there is a quarter hot power, I would say you can, you use. can use a quarter hot yes, power. Yes, it's just like, something small. I like quarter hot and power. And that will reduce electricity. All of us know that a lot of Ghanaians are using gas burner because of cost. Yes. So anybody who is using electricity is just like somebody who is using electric hookah. So the cost will be so much. Once you are able to reduce that electricity bill, your operation cost of the building yes. is reduced. Oh, and okay. you are talking of... 30, at least 30 percent upward for electricity. Wow, interesting. So I, I, I hope you have learned something good this moment. At least you've learned about the need to do quality control for the size of the corridors and the sand. And then we've learned about the cement. I used to think cement, the older you get, the bigger the number you buy. Maybe you buy 42 when you are more than 42. And the youngsters like me, we buy 32. But sorry, that's not it. It's a function of strength, okay? So you're looking about how much strength you can achieve and then how soon it dries the workability. So let's be mindful about this and let's not just buy materials based on the fancy marketing names or based on how low are the prices. I hope we can work together. Let's stay with me and watch other videos so that we can have a discussion on this. We need to improve our standards. We need to improve our quality so that our works get better. Let's not just look about the cheapest, but let's look for the best way so that we can work together and build a, a better Ghana. Thank you very much.